All new here at 10 o'clock for a few high school students in Cherokee County. This tiny home is the end result of more than 150 hours of work. It was a new and big project for building construction teacher George Duncan's class, but one that is laying the groundwork for the future. The Fox 9's Zach Perletsky traveled to Gaffney to get a closer look and an inside look at this tiny home that is now open for bids. Gives you plenty of room. Uh, I took six high school students and by providing them a little bit of supervision, they were able to accomplish something that a lot of adults couldn't accomplish. Inside this 448 square foot home, everything is brand new, including the potential careers of those who built it. Looking at it now, I, I never thought we could do that or build something like that. Turner Smith is one of the six students in George Duncan's building construction class at the Institute of Innovation that built the tiny home all last semester. It was during this project Smith knew he wanted to make this his career and will head to Clemson next year in the construction management program. It's just amazing when you walk in and you can say you actually built it. A former social studies teacher with the construction background, Duncan came up with this idea for a semester-long project for his level three and four building class. It builds confidence. I can see these kids, I remember when they were doing storage buildings, uh, I could see them unsure of their measurements, unsure of their math. And with this right here, I mean, they did plumbing, they did electrical, they did uh, the, the framing. The building process started in early September, and the class of six students worked three hours a day for five days a week and finished this tiny home around Thanksgiving. It was actually really special. Like we really like grew strong together. We really bonded really well with the five, six students that we had in here. Now that the work is finished, this home is ready to be auctioned off. It comes with all the appliances. The starting bid is $60,000 and all the money from the sale will go to fund the supplies used and help pay for future tiny homes built by Duncan's classes. It just gives the students a chance to experience all phases of building. As for whoever ends up calling this home, I hope they really enjoy it. In Gaffney, Zach Perlutsky, Fox Carolina News.